By the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can turn a blog post or any article really into a punchy newsletter in like two minutes. No rewriting, no stress. I'm going to show you how to set up a simple N8N workflow with ChatGPT that does it all for you automatically. It's fast, it's hands off, and once it's set up, you never touch it again. If you've got content and an email list, this is a no brainer. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to show you exactly how you can take a database like this and turn all of these into newsletters really easily. Getting Google Sheets, setting the URL, getting the article with the HTTP request, the code is extracting the body of the article. This is now turning each one of those into the newsletter format. Once this is done, it's going to save each one of those articles to the appropriate row inside of Google Sheets. This is done. And now you can see we basically have three different newsletters all ready to go. If you want to get access to the automations we can build today, maybe you can improve on this. Just hop into my community called The Build Room. This is basically for content creators and business owners who want to make more money, attract premium clients, build your personal brand and things like that. Here you get access to all of my resources and step-by-step -step tutorials that even some of my community members have sold to their clients for $5,000 a pop. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check this out. Before we get into the automation, I'm going to show you exactly how we can create the structure for our newsletter using ChatGPT. So this is how I like to use ChatGPT basically to help me with all of my tasks. And I'm just basically going to tell it what the deal is, what we have going on, what we're trying to accomplish. So I'd say something like, I have a blog article. I'm trying to turn it into a simple, clear newsletter that's packed with value. And then I'm going to say something like this, like, please create an outline for the newsletter. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up taking this outline and feeding it into a chat GPT node inside of N8N to basically take our blog article, create this format for us and give us a newsletter at the end of the day. Cool. You can see we have this outline with a title, clear, compelling, benefit driven outline, an intro paragraph, state the core problem, insider opportunity, one to two sentences max. Section one is a key idea. Section two, strategy, mistake, a call out or quote, like a bold line that sums up the most important idea and a final takeaway. I like this. If you learned one thing today, let it be this. I think that's a great way to end a newsletter. I actually really like this format. It's not often that you get the best answer out of ChatGPT right out the gate, but this is pretty good. I think we can work with this. So let's hop into N8N and start building this automation. First, I'm going to show you how you can build it with a single article. And then I'm going to show you exactly how you can take a database like this and turn all of these into newsletters really easily. So the first thing I'm going to do here is we're just going to create a manual trigger to start. And then I'm just going to go ahead and type in set to create a set variable node. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to say URL. You actually don't need to do this step, but I find it's really helpful just to kind of keep things separate, like in my mind. So I'm just going to take this article that I have here from this blog, AI to the people. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste the URL right in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and rename this really quick and just say set URL. So it's really clear what we're working with. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is we basically need to extract the text from this article. So I'm just going to come in here to an HTTP node. I'm going to select get and I'm just going to execute the previous step. And now you can see we have the URL here. And what we can do is we can literally just drag this over into the URL field. And I'm going to click execute. And now you can see that in just a couple seconds, we've pulled in all this crazy HTML uh, from the site. So this is uh, a lot. We don't want to work with this. This is too much. But now we actually have access to the data. So we're on the right track. There's a couple different ways we can process this. One is using AI, which is going to use some of your tokens if you're using ChatGPT. The other way is using a code node inside N8N, which is a little bit more technical, but doesn't cost you anything. So I'm going to show you how to do both of these. Let's start off by using the information extractor, which I think is a pretty powerful node that's maybe a little bit underutilized. From here, we can just go ahead and drag the text inside this. And we can go ahead and say, from attribute descriptions, we'll add an attribute. And I'm just going to say body copy. And the description here is going to be the main article or body copy. And that's all I'm going to put in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and that's really it. And we just need to add a model down here. And I'm going to say open AI. And I'm going to come down here and select my account. This is really easy to set up. If you need to create a new account, just come in here, go to create new credential, grab your API key from platform.openai.com. Why don't I just go ahead and do that right now just to show you how easy it is. If you're logged into your account, you can just come up to the settings up here. And on the left-hand side, come into API keys, go ahead, click create new secret key, name the key, whatever you want. Just go ahead this. And now you have a new secret key that you can basically copy and paste right here into N8N and you have a new credential all set up. Make sure you have added some money to your account. Otherwise, you won't be able to run this. 
Cool, so now we're all set up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and click execute step and see what we come out with. This will take a little bit of time to run because basically the AI is processing all of that HTML and it's creating an outline and it's, and it's coming back with the body copy. Now my guess is this is actually too short based off of what this article is. I think we're probably missing some things. So why don't we just go ahead and update this description here. I'm just gonna say the article text and see if that's gonna give us everything. Cool, this looks a lot better to me. This looks like we have everything that we need. So this is a great starting point. Let me show you really quick how you can also do this with code, although maybe it's a little less reliable. It's going to go ahead and detach this for now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to come back into ChatGPT and I'll just create a new chat just to make sure we have something fresh. I'm going to say I'm in N8N. I need JavaScript code for a function designed to extract the article content from HTML. Let's go ahead and see what this comes up with. Great, so this is basically looking for common article containers, which basically just means that like when it sees this in the HTML, it's going to know that we started the article. And let's see what happens if we go ahead and just copy this and we come into N8N and I'm just going to go code, go here, paste this in. Let's see what happens if we click execute. Sometimes this works first try. Sometimes you need to have a little bit of back and forth. So we can see here, please return an array of objects, one for each item you would like to output. So we can just come in here, come back to ChatGPT, paste this in. This is just going to adjust this a little bit just to give us a different output format. So I was actually trying this earlier and I found code that works. So I can just come in here and just like, this is the code. I'm going to copy and paste this in. And I'm just going to show you the conversation that I had really quickly so you can basically see what happens. So this is the thing I said, use function node with rejects. And maybe that's the thing that I was missing in the other example. Now I'll basically just come in here just so you guys can see, because maybe this is educational for all of us, myself included. I'll just say this code was working. What's the difference? So this working code uses regular expressions to match and extract specific HTML containers, while the previous example uses Cheerio, which I don't even know what Cheerio is or a DOM parser, but basically one of these works and one of these doesn't. So we want to make sure that going forward, if we're going to do stuff with HTML, we want to use this rejects kind of type expression type. So we can come in here. Now, if I click execute step, now we can see we've actually extracted the entirety of the article. We do have a little bit extra, like we can see excited, happy, in love, not sure, some emoji stuff. And I think we have some information about the author up top, but that's actually going to be okay for what we need. So I'm just going to move these out. It's really, I'm going to leave these both in here. If you want to get access to the automations we can build today, maybe you can improve on this. Just hop into my community called The Build Room. This is basically for content creators and business owners who want to make more money, attract premium clients, build your personal brand and things like that. Here you get access to all of my resources and step-by-step -step tutorials that even some of my community members have sold to their clients for $5,000 a pop. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check this out. So now we're back in N8N. And now that we have all of the information extracted, I'm just going to go ahead and name this really quick. This always gets to name your stuff, log to newsletter. Now what we can do is we can process this with ChatGPT. So I'm just going to go ahead, go to OpenAI. What we're going to do here, we're going to message a model, select my account, and I'm going to use GPT-40 for this. Go ahead and select this. And I know I'm going to need two messages, a user message, and I'm also going to need a system message. For the prompt, I'm just going to say, here's the article. And go ahead, change this to expression and drag this in. And now what we need to do is basically we need to turn this outline into a prompt for ChatGPT. So I'm going to say, I need a prompt for an AI agent. Its task is to take the incoming article, identify the most important high value high impact moments and turn it into a newsletter in the above format. Go ahead and click enter and let's see what this comes back with. You're a content distillation expert, fancy word. Your task is to analyze the incoming blog article and extract the most valuable high impact insights, create a clear, concise newsletter using the structure below, prioritizing clarity, utility, brevity, et cetera, et cetera. And so it gives us a little bit of the formatting that just came up with output only the final newsletter. Do not explain output. Do not include explanations or analysis. That's this sounds good to me. I'm just going to copy this. And now we can come in here and in the system prompt, I'm just going to change this to expression because I think it looks nicer and you can paste the formatting. Now we've just pasted this in here. And so now if I go ahead and click execute step, this is going to run through and it's basically going to process the article and then apply all the newsletter formatting that we created with ChatGPT. So you can see that this is done. We have the title. We have the intro paragraph. If there's a specific format that you want that like we need to output this back to HTML to use in sites like Beehive or MailChimp or wherever you're kind of hosting your newsletter or WordPress, uh, like you can basically go ahead 
and just tell it to do that in the system prompts. Right now, this is outputting a markdown. You can tell by the asterisk, but I think this is really solid for what we need. You can obviously customize this to fit your specifics. Cool. So this is generally working. So now what I want to show you how to do is basically take this entire list of blog articles. If you have multiple articles that you've saved and turn these into multiple newsletters and then go ahead and update the status at the end. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slide this over. I'm going to click the plus. I'm going to go into Google. I'm going to go into Google Sheets. What I want to do is I want to get rows in a sheet. And I have my account already set up. If you want to know how to connect Google Sheets to N8N, I'll leave a video somewhere up at the top where you can go ahead and follow along with that to learn how to connect everything up. I'm just going to grab this blog to newsletter table. I'm going to go ahead and choose from the list, sheet one. For the filter, the value, I just want this to be blog. So if we come into our little sheet here, this is like so freaking simple. It's literally three columns, right? I have the URL. This will be the newsletter that we output. And then the status right now is blog. And then at the end, we'll just switch this to newsletter. Super easy. So what this is doing, this is searching for the status as blog. And if I go ahead and click execute step, we should pull in all of the articles. You can see here now we have three different articles that we've pulled in. Awesome. So what we can do now is instead of hard coding in this URL, I can just go ahead and delete this. I can turn this into an expression and I can just grab the blog URL and pull this over here. So now if I go ahead and execute step again, we should have three items. And basically this is just going to run through one at a time until we have everything that we need. And just so we can test this once, I'm going to go ahead and add an option. Just do return only first matching row. Just turn this on. So basically this is only going to return one at a time. So if you really wanted to, like if you were doing this multiple times and you were auto publishing to your newsletter, like you could set this to return only one and like run this on a schedule like three times a week or one time a week, whatever your schedule is for your blog. And this way you can only return one instead of having to go through everything. And like, you don't want to be sending people three newsletters all at once. Cool. So we've output our one item here. And all we need to do now is we want to connect this back up to Google Sheets. Come into here, we want to append or update URL from the list. We're going to go ahead, block to newsletter, sheet. We're going to go ahead and select our sheet. So basically, I realized that inside of Google Sheets, we basically need to have a row here. And basically, unlike something like Airtable that automatically pulls in the record ID, this won't actually do it automatically. So you just need to add equals row. Go ahead and close this parentheses and hit enter. And now you can see we have two, three, four, whatever, and we can just go ahead and drag this down. And now we have all of our row numbers so that we can actually match this inside of NNN. So now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to run this through one more time now that we've added that. Go ahead, pulling this in, extracting with the code. Basically, this is going to write our newsletter for us once we're done. And now we should be able to easily match this up inside of Google Sheets. Great. Obviously, we're getting an error because we haven't selected anything to send yet. Go ahead, we're going to update this, columns to match on, I'm going to match row, come back to the Google Sheets node down here, and now you can see we have row number, and so I'm just going to go ahead and match this here, row using the ID, and if I come into the OpenAI output, I'm just going to take the content, and I'm just going to add this to the newsletter field, and then I'm just going to update the status to newsletter. Awesome. So if I go ahead and click Execute Step, it should take a second to run, and if we come back in here now, you can see we basically have the newsletter that we put inside of Google Sheets, and this is updated to say newsletter right here. Cool. So I'm just going to revert back to what we had just so we can test all three of these at once. So if I come back in here now, and I can go into Google Sheets and I can just turn this off and this will pull in all three of our options. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. I'm going to run this through. If I zoom in, you can see this is running. We pulled three items across. We're pulling three items across. And what I notice here is that this is actually outputting a single item from this code. It's basically combining all of the body text into one thing. And we actually need to make it work for each item. And so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code. And we're just going to make a small adjustment. So I'm going to say this code is working, but it needs to work for run once for each item, because basically I want to get three different items out the back of it. So let's go ahead. It's a really small adjustment. It's just going to change the input to input all so that it's going to support uh, kind of basically, um, you know, this field right here, run once for each item. So if I go ahead and do this, and now I click execute step. Always a little back and forth, always a little bit of troubleshooting. Let's try this one more time. I always tell people that if they're interested in AI and automation, troubleshooting is like 90% of the job. Cool. And so you can see here that we have all three of our articles separately split out. Great. This is what I'm looking for. So let's run this one more time. Come in here. 
getting Google Sheets, setting the URL, getting the article with the HTTP request. The code is extracting the body of the article. It's kind of stripping out all the other stuff. This is now turning each one of those into the newsletter format. Once this is done, it's going to save each one of those articles to the appropriate row inside of Google Sheets. This is done. And now you can see we basically have three different newsletters all ready to go. AI logo generators, unlocking creative freedom, harnessing AI to sim simplify e-commerce branding. We've changed the status to newsletter. We're all ready to go. If you thought this video was interesting, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hop into the build room if you want to get access to all my tools and resources. And definitely check out this video up here if you're interested in learning how to automate all of your LinkedIn content. I'll see you over there.